What is ICBUS? ICBUS, founded in 2002, taking over Amtran, also known as American Transportation Corp., is based in Tesla, Oklahoma, and has been America's most popular bus manufacturer since 2005, next to Bluebird Body Company and Thomas Belt Buses. IC buses are the most common buses on the road today, and it can be thanked for their sharp yet extremely safe designs. IC bus is a subsidiary of Navistar and is not affiliated with International in any way except for powertrains such as engines and transmissions. One interesting thing not many people know is what IC bus stands for. It stands for Integrated Coach Built Undeniably Safe. In the IC bus logo, it actually shows a C integrated within an I. IC bus became so popular due to their many available products throughout the years, including the IC3800, ICAE, ICBE, ICFE, ICRE, and most notably the ICCE, which is their most popular choice for schools. IC bus also makes commercial and transit buses, which will be covered later. How good are IC buses? IC buses are the toughest and most durable buses on the road with A plus safety ratings. IC buses are made with the finest materials and are available with the most safety feature standard compared to any other buses on the market. The Tesla plant in Oklahoma is full of dedicated, experienced workers who work long hours to put these buses together the right way. It can take several months to fully assemble a single bus with care. Most employees who work at the Tesla plant come home proud every night knowing their kids will ride one of the buses they put together. Tulsa Public Schools operate over a hundred IC buses transporting thousands of kids a day without fear of buses breaking down or someone getting hurt. Because IC buses are made with care and are meant to stay long last after they are decommissioned. bus can be easily spotted going down the road by its special shield and stripes above the door and driver window. You may ask, what in the world is an IC3800? Your confusion is accurate. The IC3800 was a real bus, only made in the 2003 model year. It was a successor to the Amtran 3800, which stopped production in 2002. The IC3800 was available with the 7.3 liter T444E V8 or the 7.6 liter mechanical DT466E inline 6 diesel engines. It was not a success. Only 500 units were sold worldwide and the 2000 model year was cancelled. Almost all bus enthusiasts have at least heard of the infamous ICAE. IC buses attempt at a Type A bus. It was only produced from 2013 to 2015. The ICA was essentially a short wheelbase CE with an international Terrastar cockpit. It was only available with the 6.4 liter Max 47, which unfortunately discouraged a lot of buyers, eventually leading to its discontinuation for the 2015 model year. <laughs> ICAEs are ranked the top bus to be retired early worldwide due to its unreliable powertrain and inaccessibility to perform repairs within the tightly bound setup. Many ICAEs can still be found on the roads of upstate New York and parts of New Jersey. Everyone loves a good ICBE, 
at least if they know what it is. The ICBE was introduced as a Type B bus in 2005 and is continued in 2015. The ICBE is basically a short wheelbase C with a smaller hood, only available with a V8 and hydraulic brakes. It can commonly be referred to as the ICBE 200 from the 2005 to 2009 model year and just ICBE 2010 to 2015. The ICBE was available with a 6.0 liter VT365 from 2005 to 2008. 2009 through 2015, it came with a 6.4 liter Max Force 7, like the AE, eventually leading to its discontinuation in 2015. ICFEs were good buses back in the day as well. They were type D front engine buses capable of carrying a max of 90 passengers. ICFEs were made from 2002 to 2010 with only inline 6 diesel engines. 2002 through 2004 were essentially rebadged Amtran FEs available with the 7.6 liter mechanical DT-466E. Although it is acceptable to refer to them as Amtrans or first gen FEs. 2005 through 2008 ICFEs, FEs are also known as second gen FEs were basically the same but had a redesigned roof and the engine switched away from mechanical to the electronic controlled 7.6 liter DT-466. The last generation IC FEs 2009-2010 had a redesigned grille and had the 7.6 liter Max Source DT. Unfortunately in 2009 people lost interest in them and they were discontinued for the 2010 model year. The ICRE is one of the most popular Type D rear engine buses behind the Bluebird T3RE and the Thomas HDX. ICREs have been in production since 2002, in which they are a successor to the Amtran RE introduced in 1996. Like the ICFE, the ICRE 2002 through 2004 can be referred to as a first gen. First-gen REs were quite interesting and are a very popular choice for school bus conversions as they were available with either the 7.3 liter T444E or the 7.6 liter mechanical DT466E. The 2005 through 2008 model years were quite a jump from the first gen. Like the ICFE, they received the new roof, but the whole rear engine compartment was also redesigned as it came with new two engine options, the 6.0 liter VT365 and the 7.6 liter electronic controlled DT466. In the third generation, 2009 through 2016, the IC also had a big change as they stopped offering the V8 and only offered the 7.6 liter Max Force DT. Finally, in the current fourth generation, 2017 to now, the ICRE is offered with the Cummins L9 or the 6.7 liter Cummins ISB. Almost everyone in the US has at least seen or ridden an ICCE before. They are the most abundant and preferred buses on the roads. Built with safety and comfortability in mind, the ICCE is the most popular Type C bus among schools since its introduction in 2002. The introduction of the first generation of the ICCE 2002 through 2004, also commonly referred to as a first gen CE, was based off the Amtran 3800, but it had a few appearance tweaks, such as a larger hood and a new dashboard. First gen CEs were either available with the 7.3 liter T444E or the 7.6 liter mechanical DT466E. In 2005, IC Bus began Gen 2 of the CE by changing its appearance to look like the International Duristar and giving it a larger roof. The second Gen CE lasted from 2005 to 2008 and was available with either the 6.0 liter VT365 or the 7.6 liter electronic controlled DT466. Third generation of the CE 
From 2009 to 2015, the instrument cluster was swapped out, and the engine choices switched to the 6.4 liter Max Force 7 or the 7.6 liter Max Force GT. Fourth and current generation of the CE since 2016 has become available with a 6.7 liter comes ISB, propane PSI 8.8 .8 liter available since 2017, and gasoline PSI 8.8 .8 liter available since 2018. One tiny tweak that became standard on all CEs in the 2020 model year and newer is Bendix stability control or you could upgrade to the Bendix wingman. So next time you see an IC bus on the road, please don't call it an international.